Mariam, can you Her just give me an indication it. if it's actually working? Because I because I um yeah, I just need to I mean open the PowerPoint and not on Google slides because it's not working. I'm really sorry for this. Okay, I think that there's far to work in. Since I have the slide you want to present, should I just like present it then you just keep talking? And you can, I can if control you can, for my... Yeah, I think, yeah, it's not going right, well over here. Thank you. That would probably All work right, better. So when you're going to the next slide, you just tell me like next slide. Yeah. Okay, I'll just get started. Um, the first career exercise is um, the three real world jobs you would want to take up. Um, so we are focusing on getting you ready to, you know, into the job market as soon as possible after you finish the 12 weeks of intensive training. But I think um, if you attended yesterday's daily stand up or if you, um, if you watch the recording, Arun would have said um, it would take up to six months to get you into the kind of job that we would want you to to start. Um, and I think this was questioned in the Slack channel that we are only focusing on data engineering. Um, I know that there are three components that you guys are going to be training on in this 12 weeks, but it would be kind of um, difficult for you to try and find like three different kind of jobs um, just for this exercise. So we're focusing on data engineering. Okay, Mariam, can you just go to the next slide, please? Um, so the most important thing for this exercise is you're going to have to actually find a job um, that you think would be suitable um, for you to apply to and start working at by the end of the 12 weeks. So um, the, the most important thing is to know where to look for a real world job. Um, so yeah, as you can see on the first slide, we're going to search for a job in data engineering. Um, I'd say that you need to, before you even begin your job search is to determine what your long-term professional career goals are um, and write them down, keep the, the list of your career goals, write it down on a piece of paper or on your device, just so that you know what, the, what they are, so that you have some kind of direction. Um, because if you don't know what you would like to do 10 years, 15 years or 20 years from now, it's going to be really difficult for you to narrow your job search um, because it's going to be unproductive for you to apply to 50 jobs because you don't know 
where you would like to be in a few years time when you could just apply for 10 jobs and know that that's exactly what you want to do. You need to know what you are looking for in a job. Um, as much as job advertisements have requirements from what they want from you, you also need to have requirements for what you want from the job. So keep a list of requirements um, that you are looking for on paper, on your device. Um, and this will also help when you do keyword research. So you can use keyword research to narrow your job search. Um, there are many free keyword research um, search engines available on Google. Um, yeah, so you need to also find out which keywords you can use to put in your LinkedIn profile because any recruiter might just um, use those keywords and your profile could pop up first on the list, which would then help you to continue or help you be successful. And now, since we've been working more remotely, um, there have definitely been more occurrences where people are becoming or people are getting scammed by um, just dishonest people. So employment scams are really more common now that people are working remotely. It's a lot easier to scam someone if, you, if you're never going to see their face. So please watch out for those. Mariam, could you go on to the next one? Okay, so you need to also know what makes a job a good, good first step. And these are the jobs that we want you to step into as soon as you're finished with a 12 week um, intensive training, but might take up to six months. Um, the kind of job we would want you to step into is one that has a minimum starting salary of 500 US dollars. Um, it is a medium to long term position. So it's not freelancing it's not you going to a company and saying i'll do this for two weeks or four weeks um it's not working for a different separate client every day or every week it is at the same company you sign a contract for a year two years or indefinitely um when you do sign the contract you are an actual employee of the company um and not someone that they are outsourcing like a contractor You'll have someone that you will report to because you will be stepping into junior level positions and working there will definitely offer you some stability and longevity. So unless you decide to leave the job after six months, you have a very good chance of staying there for two to three to five years at least. Depending on what kind of company you join, you might be offered benefits like health insurance or contribution towards a pension fund, which this would be outside of the salary you earn every month. Um, but this depends on the size of the company, um, how much profit the company makes. Um, if you earn more than 500 US dollars, you might actually just not get offered that benefits and also company culture will determine what kind of benefits you might get. Mariam? Okay. Something you might have noticed is we want you to step into a global level high impact job. Um, and this is a list of what makes a job high impact. Um, if you step into a high impact job, this might not be specifically a junior level position. You might maybe be in a mid-level position at this point. So the salary will be higher at 650 US dollars. You might be supervising people or a team of people and the industry and the job itself will have a lot of growth potential. So you might have more um, opportunities for promotions. The industry might expand. The type of product or service you offer might change evolve so that you can offer more services and products to different people different customers clients and what kind of potential impact you have so a high impact job would then make high impact on society so what kind of social environmental and economic impact will your work have 
that determines what a high impact job is. Mariam? So once again, avoid employment scams. That's really important for that you understand that. Um, and then there are also jobs that might be unsuitable for you once you complete um, the 12 week training program. We really want you to step into global level jobs because you are more likely to earn a better, a better salary if you are working for a global company or a very large company. So we would urge you to apply for jobs at all global level. Um, and then you are going to be spending 12 weeks really focusing on specific training, um, data engineering, machine learning. So if you're going to spend 12 weeks studying and training on those things and you end up applying for jobs that are completely outside of the skills that you have learned for the 12 weeks, then it kind of doesn't make sense that you spend 12 weeks learning and you know working really hard and then apply for a job that is not within the sphere of what you train for and if you don't have any skills or experience in that um you know in what you're applying for you have a very low chance of actually getting an interview at all um so we then suggest that you apply for junior positions but at global level companies so these companies are like amazon and a job that depends on your 10 academy training and then um, these slides will be provided to you afterwards and these are some links that you can use to job hunt um, tips on how to avoid in job scams and what kind of jobs are high impact thank you and yeah if you have any questions we are on slack in the all careers ex exercises channel Um, thank you, Carrie, for that presentation. Um, I, we understand that some of you might have questions. After I go through my own slides, we would take questions and answers. Yeah. Please, if you have been following, can you put following in the chat box? So I'm sure everybody is here. Thank you. Carrie, can you see this? Yeah, I can okay. see it perfectly. Yeah. So Carrie has basically covered what um, real world job entails and what you should be applying for in general. So I'm basically going to be covering good gap analysis and basically how to solve this challenge that we've given to you. What is a gap analysis? Um, gap analysis is simply a form of assessment that is used to determine the difference between one's current state and desired state. It is simply used to like compare if there is so much growth from where you are expected to be. This analysis is conducted by organizations, businesses, and even individuals. And that is why you as a job seeker, you're going to be conducting this analysis. At the end of this analysis, a, an action plan is usually required so you can bridge this gap that you have found to be existing between your current state and desired state. You'll probably be asking, why do I need to carry out a job analysis, a, a gap analysis rather? You need to be able to meet up with the requirements of this organization looking for employers. So you want to make sure you are in the same um state of mind as this employer so you want to make sure you're not in 2020 when these jobs are already in like 2035 so you want to make sure you're in the same spectrum with these people that are looking for employees 
As a job seeker, your gap analysis will be either between your current job skills and what these jobs are looking for, or your current skills and what you hoped the jobs will be looking for. For the sake of this exercise, we're going to be focusing on the former, that is what skills you have and what these jobs are looking for. In order to achieve a good gap analysis, you need to indulge the following steps. The first thing is for you to identify the skills you have and how they are related to this job. Like Harry has said, we're going to focus on the job roles you'll be focusing on will be data engineering for the sake of this exercise. So you get a notepad, a notebook or anything and identify the key skills you have and how they are related to this data engineering job. Now you need to list them out. Then these job roles that you've gotten, you look at the skills they are requiring or the skills they are looking for. You list that out too. Then you make a marriage of them both. Take the skills you possess from both, obviously from the ones you have and the ones these jobs are looking for, then highlight the outstanding one. Having highlighted them, as the training goes on, you're going to understand this gap and then we're going to provide support like, I'm sure by now you must have seen the 10X login thing. So with time, there's going to be like a form of leaderboard thing that is going to just show your skills and what you lack at the moment. So you don't have to worry more, much about that. But for the sake of this exercise, we just want you to highlight the outstanding ones. And you're going to just give us a brief paragraph on what you've noticed. Have you noticed if um, the jobs are requiring more of soft skills or art skills or technical skills? Or what do you think you lack on the long run? Do you notice you have more of the art skills or you have lesser soft skills? So that is going to be like a major, <clears throat> that's going to be part of a major, um, that is going to be a major part of the exercise, the report you're giving back to us. So we want, to, we want you to analyze this job gap at the end of the day. So it is also important to note that some of these gaps will be outside your skills. The gaps won't just be about the skills you don't have and the skills you're looking for. You're going to, we're going to see some gaps that you can't necessarily fill at the moment. Examples will include if these jobs are requiring someone with a US visa, or if these jobs are requiring someone with at least five years of experience, or if they want someone with a dual citizenship or someone with probably a doctoral degree. So it's also important to know that as much as we're trying to make sure you bridge the skill gap, there are some gaps that you can fill and we, we advise you to completely ignore job roles like that. For the exercise, we're basically expecting a report statement that is abiding to all the requirements stated in the exercise solution. By now you must have seen um, the Google Doc explaining this exercise. So please abide to all the requirements there. In addition to serve as a guide, because we've said you should look for job role at least three, you can just make each page talk about the job. So you can title a page job one and list out all what has been required from this exercise. The next page can be job two, job three like that. Then we want readable fonts at least size 12. Max of four pages should not include unnecessary information. Please strictly follow the instructions in the exercise and then involve professional writing. That is make it comprehensive, simple, and also easy to read. Thank you for listening. So now we'll be taking questions. Any question that we can cover here, please reach out to I and Carrie on the Art Career Exercises channel on Slack. So do we have any questions? If you can, okay, someone has waved. Um, Tades, please take the floor. Hello, Mariam. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you uh, for your nice presentation, for your boss. And uh, I have a question on things that you have given us uh, as exercise on this uh, carer real world job exercise. Yeah. So are we going to search uh, the organization 
ሰዎች need which desire uh, an uh, any employee who will work in that for the future by searching uh, their job description and relating to ours or could we just assume if, if i'm correct let me know if i'm correct you're asking if you're supposed to just randomly check these um, organizations to see if they are seeking out for employees is that what you're asking yeah uh, are we going to search whether they need yes you're going to, to look hire? at this job have you do you have access to the documents already the exercise instructions yes i have okay so there are um some links there like um linkedin Mm -hmm. Angel list, you can also use Glassdoor, even Twitter, so you can search for these jobs on these platforms. So basically, okay. when you go to this platform, you look for job roles that are related okay. to data engineering. Mm -hmm. Then if you have like three, you pick them, then you start filling the questions, then you start answering the questions that are in the instructions. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, should we... Uh provide the link of that we have uh, yes named. Okay. it's all all the things we want you to answer is already in the instruction oh, okay. okay so we, okay. we specifically said we don't want google listing too so if you read through the instructions properly and clearly all the things you're supposed to answer in the reports is already listed there okay thank you you're welcome but the um the link shouldn't be towards Google. It has to be towards the job on the specific site. So it yeah. needs to be really specific. Just let you know. Okay. Is the exercise super clear? Yes, I'm 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 fine with it. Okay, thank you, Victor. If you don't have any other questions, we are on Slack in the All Career Exercises channel. So you can reach out to us there. Um, we will have another tutorial session for the peer mentoring exercise the real three real world jobs exercise is due on the 13th of may and the peer mentoring is due on the 14th so i'm just letting you know also in addition to that we are asking for a google doc not pdf this time so google doc max of four pages yeah. Uh, Mariam, do you think if, if there are no other questions, we can end the session? Sorry, let me get what Mary is saying. I don't understand. Right, please, what do you mean by crossover? Sorry. Um, no, it's not a question. Okay. It, it, it's um it's also another um another hiring site that okay, has okay, a lot perfect. of perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. So she's also she also has listed something there crossover so you can check for job there. There doesn't seem to be any other questions, so I think we can probably end yeah, the I session. Think the exercise is super clear. Yeah. But regardless, if you miss this, you can reach out to us on Slack. So thank you for coming. And we'll yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you.